the comedy clubs in LA. You know, unfortunately, the mainstream comedy rooms or the major clubs have one black night a week. And then um, during the other days, black comics are not going up like that unless you're part of that quote unquote fraternity and you have to pay your dues or do whatever they say you got to do. But there's people that have, uh, have the resume, have the talent, been doing it for years, and um, they're not welcome on these nights. Mm. So I think this is a good opportunity to speak on that and try to uh, help diversify these nights in these rooms because, oh, because, you know, you have like, we ha on the black nights, it ain't like the people that book the show or the owners or the managers are coming in to say, oh, it's some good talent in here. Let me bring this person to the regular nights. Mm -hmm. So I believe that a lot of comics, you know, they have this, this thing where they say they only let a couple black comics on at a time. And I believe that part of the reason for that is that we are not getting opportunities. We're not being seen. That's why I applaud you for uh, putting comics on, giving half hour specials on Comedy Central, uh, giving the people the opportunities at uh, Just for Laughs, the Comedy Festival, and also Joey's show. So there's a mm. lot of that black comedy, that shit don't exist no more. I mean, you know, it's just comedy. Nah, nah, I can't even lie, man. Like fucking, that is such a, it's such an eye opener, especially with the times now, because when you think about the world of comedy, you think about where we come from. The last thing that you would have thought of is about the, you know, the systematic side of racism within that world as well. And, you know, the natural growth of a comedian from comedy club and the stages that you got to go through is a lot more difficult for your black comic, uh, male or female. You know what I mean? Right. Like you have to get, you have to get approved or you have to be passed or accepted. There is no, there is no equal opportunity floor uh, for the black comic and the white comic. Mm -hmm. Like we're not equal. Uh, the right. comedy clubs and stages, there's so more, there's so many more, that are available for your white comic. And nah, that's a that's a fucking very strong, valid, not argument, because it's not an argument, it's a statement. It's a it's it's a fact. And it's something that, you know, we actually should look into and and open the eyes of these comedy comedy club owners to to you know make there more of an opportunity for for right. the comics that are fucking black. That's true. God people damn. Like, people like me, Joey Spank, who have the resume, we can't just Go in the uh, yeah. We can't go in at the regular mm -hmm. nights at the comedy store, Laugh Factory. I mean, we gotta we gotta put in the car with our agent or something, or it's just not it's not available to us. And nobody is trying at this point in our career. Nobody's trying to go through that process of working your way up. We mm -hmm. have the resume, we have the talent. Mm -hmm. So right now, we need to put pressure on. I'm not going to ask for a strike for the black comedians or anything like that because you know I know people are are, are trying to make their way. But as you see time and time again, people that get the opportunity and get seen, they're doing things now. Yeah. I mean, you know, when I did stand-up for diversity with NBC, I've been doing stand-up for about eight years at that time. And as soon as I was seen, I won a competition. I got representation. I got all of those things just off of an opportunity. Mm -hmm. So we need you said to- it, You said it right in the beginning, huh? You said, look, mm -hmm. you got the stage. You got the stage and right now, and having that stage, our voices are being heard. And this is an opportunity to strike, like you said, while the iron is hot. 